Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a ThinkPad L14 Gen 5 Intel series. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your CMOS battery. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip your computer over to access your bottom case screws. Now after you have removed all screws from the bottom case, you also have to remove the SIM card tray on the back of the laptop. Once that's done, we can start prying the bottom case off of the rest of the computer. It's best to use your small flat plastic pry tool and start in the rear near one of the two hinge assemblies. Pry the back edge off first and then work your way down each side along each side to pry those sides up. After that, you don't need to pry the bottom case off in the front. You just pick the bottom case up from the rear, slide it to the front, and it will come out from underneath these clips, and that way you can remove your bottom case. After removing your bottom case, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any suggestions for tools or supplies for your project, as well as any upgrade or replacement parts for this exact model computer, the L14, there will be a link above, also below in the description, that will be a list of all those tools and supplies and replacement and upgrade parts for this model computer. Now before I do anything in a computer, I always either remove or at least unplug my battery. Computers are safest to work on when as little power as possible is running through them. Your battery is right down here along the bottom of my screen with all the tools and replacement parts for this computer. It's held in by three screws and it plugs into the motherboard here near the green arrow. Now in order to get this out, try not to pull on wires or cables. This goes for any wires or cables in a computer. You can damage them or sometimes if you pull too hard, they can come right out of the plug. So if at all possible, just put force on the plug itself. So you can wiggle it right out of this port on the motherboard by pulling it to the right out of that port. Okay, so now that the battery has been removed, we have gained access to our CMOS battery right here. This battery is just held down by double-sided tape. So if you're here to replace this battery, you can snap that off fairly easily. Again, it's just double-sided tape and it plugs into the motherboard right here. If you're here to reset BIOS, you don't need to necessarily take that battery up. You can leave it down. Just unplug it from the motherboard for 15, 20 seconds. That should be sufficient to reset your BIOS system settings. Again, as with any cables, do not pull on the wire. This can come out of the plug. Just use your fingernails or a pry tool on the grips on either side of that plug to wiggle it out of that port. If you're here to replace the battery, I will have a replacement option below in the description in that link I told you about with all of this model's replacement and upgrade parts. And if you're here to reset BIOS, just one word of caution, this will usually only reset your BIOS system settings, not your BIOS password. A lot of people try to do this to reset the BIOS password. And in most cases, this operation will not do that. I will have more information on BIOS password resets below in the description. Then last thing to mention about this kind of operation, a BIOS reset like this is a common troubleshooting step if your computer's not turning on. If that's why you're here and you would like more help with that, there will be a video link below in the description. It will be the full troubleshooting process of a laptop that's not turning on so you can find out what's wrong with it and how to fix it. But that's the end of this video, how to get inside your ThinkPad L14 and access your CMOS battery. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out, if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, or if you just want to keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions. I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.